So I'm from the association called Erasmus Volley. It's the student uh, volleyball association of Erasmus. Currently we have around 300 playing members and around 40 association members. So round of a total 340 members in our association. Uh, this is my fourth year now. I'm doing the ladies recreational teams. Uh, I've also done many committees and a board year here uh, in the four seasons that I've been here. So compared to other years, we have had a lot of uh, applications this year. We even have uh, too many applications to uh, give everyone a chance to come to our open practices because those were limited because of uh, Corona measures, of course. So uh, we have seen a sharp increase this year of applications. Um, generally, we have a lot already, but this year was kind of crazy, yeah. I've seen like at the Eureka Week, we suddenly had a lot more people interested in our story. Uh, I've also noticed that we have an extra ladies recreational team, so a whole new team this year. Um, but furthermore, like the teams are just as full as they normally are. I think that um, for a lot of people, a lot of people realize that if, um, say, Corona comes back again for another wave, then unless you're an association, your social life is kind of down low. Um, because if you can't go to lectures and that kind of stuff, then the only real way to meet people is through things like associations. Uh, we do have a waiting list because sometimes people um, decide to quit in the beginning of the year and then we'll add someone from the waiting list. Um, so that's a way that we try to do that. And when people sign up, they can choose to uh, des uh, decide whether they want to be on the waiting list or not if they can't get in immediately. Uh, I don't really know any people on the waiting list, but I do know that there's a big waiting list, unfortunately, because there's just too little space for all the people that want to join. We don't like to turn people away as an association. I mean, I'm not part of the procedure or whatever, but I know that it's just not fun to decline people. But um, I do know a few, and they're a bit salty, <laughs> which I understand, but it's no hard feelings, because they also understand that we can't accept everyone. A lot of people didn't get in a first try, I did. I don't know how, maybe uh, it is luck, but I also like I came to multiple practices, I stayed till the end, I had some beers with like people who were already there, so I guess I just met the right people at the right way, but most of all it's just luck I think. I mean the amount of people we can accommodate really depends on the amount of um, time and space we get in the sports building, so that's... Um, so we basically we, uh, we do that in collaboration with the rest of sport. We present our plans in, in terms of how we want to grow. And then it's just up to them to see like how much we can get. So in order to um, deal with the um, increasing amount of people that want to join the association that we don't always have room for, uh, we have a couple of things that we do. We have uh, people that um, only join practices, training, uh, we call them training members. Also, um, if there are two people that are on exchange on different times, we can add them both to a team so that if after a certain after half a year they'll sort of switch. And uh, also, if someone uh, doesn't get into a team, he or she can still become an association member, which means that he or she can still join our events and our tournaments and that kind of stuff. And it will generally also give you an edge if you want to get into a team the year after. So that's how we try to uh, accommodate as many people as we can.